Coleman, I know you guys have been in a couple of these, but what's it been like to, to be in a shootout like this, and what's the key to pulling out a victory? Uh, I'd say the biggest thing is probably trying to get stops. Uh, as much stops as possible, I feel like we can score at, at any time. Anybody can do it. Uh, so just trying to string together stops, multiple stops, um, and just staying consistent, you know, not you know panicking when people make the tough shots. So. It's coming on that front, I think you guys got a kill and then you were able to push the lead to 11. Just like in that stretch right there, just how important was that to maybe do what you needed to do to kind of get that lead? Yeah, no, it felt good. Uh, you could feel the momentum just swing. Uh, you know, it felt like we were going to win the game. And um, like you said, we, we put together a few stops and, you know, um, and came down the court, got some good looks. And capitalize off of it. Uh, you know, they were trying to double team in that pistol action, and we kind of took advantage of that. So uh, it was good to see, good to see the momentum shift like that. Ding, the last month, has it felt any different than earlier in the season? How, how, how do you feel? Where's your confidence right now? Cause it seems like it's shining, right? Now. Uh, yeah, you know, um, with me, it's just, you know, staying ready. Um, you know, uh, you know, I, I just try to do everything I can to help the team win, uh, whether that's rebounding, setting screens, rim running, you know, I just try to do the little things to help us win. I guess for both of you, I mean, this team's obviously shown they can score with anybody, outscore anybody. I mean, but uh, are you concerned, worried about the defense at all? Uh, personally, I, f I feel like our defense is fine. It's just we, we try to force tough shots. Uh, you know, when when teams have to shoot, when players have to shoot twenty something shots to score thirty points, I mean, I feel like that's a win for us. Um, you know, and, and the only way teams can score is when they consistently just back you down the whole time, and and you can't really do much about it. You try to wall up, and they call fouls. So. Um, no, I, I feel like um, I feel like we're good where we're at. Um, they they sixty something percent from three or whatever field goal. Um, they hit some tough shots. They hit some really good shots. You know, that, especially that's a team where you know their season's dependent on beating us um, and a few other teams or whatever games they got left. So uh, I'm not, I'm not necessarily worried about our defense. I'm just uh, I think it necessarily is just worrying about who we're playing next. And I think uh, a lot of times our our defense. Uh, plays in the hand, not uh, not into hands of other teams, but uh, uh, will be a struggle for a lot of other teams the rest of the way. Coleman, uh, Dane is getting <coughs> more opportunities here recently. What what is he giving you in, the, in those opportunities? Uh, yeah, he's um, he's he's um, he's getting kind of lost in the, that dunker spot, um, and teams are worrying about him because they have to cover him, and we're getting spray out threes. He's running rim running. Uh, he's blocking shots. He's rebounding. Uh, and he just gives us a different look um, because you know I'm um, always down there trying to uh, box out big guys, and I'm getting in foul trouble. So he always comes in and gives us a spark off the bench. Uh, and he does a really good job of doing what he can do, and he's really skilled. Uh, he's, you know, whenever he gets post touches, I feel like he's going to score every single time because uh, he's really skilled. He's good at finishing around the rim. So. I think he's going to be huge for us uh, in these next couple games and moving forward. Then did you figure this matchup was one that where you were going to have to make an impact? They got some size inside, and how, how were you able to make an impact uh, tonight? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Minnesota's a heavy uh, post-up team. Um, you know, uh, they play two six ten, six eleven guys. Um, uh, Pharrell, he's a he's a good um, he's a good center for them. You know, he's Big body, so um, uh, you know, I definitely felt like it was going to be a uh, good matchup. Um, but you know, I felt like I impacted the game uh, really well today um, with that. Coleman Marcus had 18 in the second half, only missed one shot. What did you see from him when he was really getting going there down the stretch? Yeah, he. Uh, I thought he stayed patient. Um, he was able to pick them apart when uh, we went to our pistol action. Um, and like I say, he didn't really get he, he didn't really get sped up. Um, he was just giving what the defense gave him, and uh, a lot of a lot of times he uh, he made the right reads, kicking the ball out, spraying out for threes. So yeah, it was just good for him to uh, good to see him just stay patient. 
you know, I don't I don't know what he had in the first half, but he he, he played extremely well uh, in that second half. It was good to see him um, kind of take over the game like that. It's Dane for you and Coleman and Quincy all to be a double figure scoring. Just yeah, how, how big is that? We're maybe all three of you do something a little bit different, but we're all productive in that one. Uh, yeah, you know, I definitely feel like it's uh, a different look, but. Um, I like it, you know, um, we all can, um, you know, get points in the paint. Um, I feel like it's, I feel like it's more efficient uh, with us, with us, with us three, um, playing a lot. But um, yeah, just a, just a, a different look, a better look. Um, you know, I feel like with teams like this, Minnesota, um, Iowa, of course, um, and I feel like it'd be good for Wisconsin as well, just with how they play with their bigs and stuff. So. Uh, obviously, probably better rhythm when you're on the court longer. What's the key to you staying on the court? Is it the rebounds, defense? Like, what's been the key to? Uh, yeah, on? just um, just doing the little things, you know, rebounding, um, you know, defending. Um, you know, offense is to me never been a been an issue for me. Um, you know, it's just uh, just really taking pride on the defensive side, um, which I feel like I've been doing, uh, and I'd still be getting better at. So. Coleman, we saw Cam Christie get going early, but second half, I think he only had six. Um, what changed maybe for you guys in terms of cutting that water off a little bit? Uh, I thought we made his catches uh, a lot harder. Uh, we extended his catches. Uh, we didn't make him comfortable uh, in ball screens. I, th I think uh, we would get clipped and he'd pull right up knowing that we couldn't um, reattach because it'd be a foul uh, when he's in that shooting motion. So. Um, just being more physical and not necessarily letting him get a catch um, and not letting him really come off those ball screens. Um, so I thought that was a, a big part of <coughs> kind of slowing him down that second half. Yeah, Coleman, a lot of those lines were just some matchup changes uh, defensively. And then on the other end, another matchup exploited really with Marcus posting, <coughs> posting guys up. Was that a change in the second half? Uh, yeah, I mean, we uh we we uh we had tie in and we were trying to run our, our nail actions and trying to get him into ball screens because we knew uh, they like to be at the level and kind of not necessarily hard hedge but they they sit they they uh, stick their big man with the with the ball for a minute um, and allow their low hole to kind of play two uh, so we're looking for those those skip corner threes and um, we realized that. Uh, Pistol was uh, kind of, they were worried about that low man. Uh, Dane was down there a lot in that action and they were worried about Marcus a lot. So we had a lot of spray out threes and then whenever it was one-on-one -on -one down there, uh, Marcus did a good job of using his pivots and uh, taking his time to get the best shot possible, so. Coleman, what do you feel like has led to a night where in 40 minutes you only have four turnovers? It just seems like a really offensive, efficient even. Yeah, uh, I feel like they weren't really in the gaps. Um, they weren't really speeding us up. Uh, I felt like the second half, Marcus had the ball in his hands a lot, making right decisions. Um, and I thought we moved the ball well as a team. You know, I, I, I didn't think we really over dribbled. Um, and yeah, I think I think we were just patient with everything and, and didn't get sped up. Coleman, you looked really comfortable initiating offense off the bounce. Like, what's kind of been the key to that the last couple of games? Uh, just just being more comfortable. I feel more a lot more comfortable, comfortable feeling a lot more confident. Um, and I, I like uh, every matchup they throw because they move guys around all the time, um, trying to figure out who they want to guard, Ty, and all this stuff. So I feel like uh, anytime, you know, I, I, I feel like they're switching defenses around. I feel like I can exploit that. and. Like I did a pretty good job of that first half today, so being a lot more confident. Uh, Dane, my math might be a little bit off, but I think you made six of your first 21 free throws, but you've gotten 11 for 16 since then. Have you made any changes, or have they just kind of started to fall? Uh, yeah, they just, uh, you know, I practice free throws every day. Uh, you know, it was just, um, just getting a good feel for, you know, uh, start of the season. I don't know what was, going on. <laughs> I shoot free throws every day. Um, so uh, I'm just continue to build on that. 